You know that feeling you get when you've been cooped up all winter and the springtime finally comes and you feel like getting out there for that first ride? And especially last year, as the pandemic was waning, things were hopeful, and it just felt good to be on two wheels again. And this is our story of the summer of 2021. We started our journey with a trip to the Black Hills of South Dakota. Best view right there. I hope you got some pictures of her face. There you go. Right here. The rest of our summer was filled with adventures closer to home in the many state parks along the Mississippi and beautiful St. Croix rivers of Minnesota. PPPs. Those Good are all places we can park. Well, let's go up to this, this place and see what that looks like. Sure, we'll go for Nosey. What's that? Why is that all thingy down right there? <laughs> That's awesome. That sign is brilliant, man. That's is. It's really cool. Hi, two bundles of wood, please. Don't try to separate the one 
part of getting back to nature, whether you're on a motorcycle or hiking or bicycling or just hi- uh, walking through parks in the woods, is getting out there. And not far off the beaten path in Whitewater State Park, you can find some really nice hard packed dirt trails and single track trails to ride if you're adventurous enough to try that out. Is it cold? Every real adventure has a setback or two, and ours was just about to happen. Sorry, we're in the middle of yeah, nowhere. Cell service is bad. Okay, we'll try our... My wife had noticed that my tire had this spot in it and when we pulled over and realized what had happened. Uh, we really had no choice. They couldn't come and pick us up. So we basically rode 15 miles on that tire to this motorcycle repair place nearby called Cycle City in Rochester, Minnesota, and we were able to get some Saturday service just in the nick of time, but it wasn't cheap. This is Jeremy right here. Hi, Jeremy. <laughs> Hi. Hey, and and uh, this is Cycle City in Rochester, and as you can see, my tire was shot. Jeremy said, bring it in. We'll see what we can do. Um, they don't have a, a, a ton in stock, but he was able to go through the warehouse here and find me this Anarchy rear tire right here, which is kind of a, I guess it's a, what is it, Jeremy, a dual, like? It's a dual, dual sport. Dual sport, yeah, yeah, it's a dual sport. That's what it looks like with the tire off. Chain could probably use a lube, I think. I was a little disappointed in the way the Shanko 705 tire that I had on the rear failed. Unfortunately, it, it did fail, but I guess, you know, considering all things, it 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 was fine. I got a new tire. There was no accident. $436.93 later, I was just ready to be done with it, get the, this tire on. It was not a dual sport. It's basically a road tire. Get it on and, and be on our way. Yep, look at that. That was ready to go too. Not to look up when I bought these tires, but they're not that old. Well, with that all settled and a new rear tire on the back of the bike, it was time to get to Beaver Creek Valley State Park. This is a beautiful state park just north of the Iowa border in southeastern Minnesota. Just being in the woods and going camping doesn't mean you have to eat like you're starving to death, right? I mean, you don't have to eat dehydrated food and bag food and all this. It's going to be a fresh salad. Got a tomato here, ripe red tomato. Got a big giant onion over there. This looks good. Yeah, that'd be great. And it's healthy. And... What are we having with it today? Sport eggs. Um, did you get um, tuna? Yes, you but did. also there's some ham in there. Oh, there's you're, ham. You're a meat eater. Um, 
I don't know, there's a bunch of stuff we brought. This cooler bag. Picked up some ice. Eggs, milk, mayonnaise, tortillas, bananas, cheese. I don't know, all kinds of good stuff. Cucumbers, the many kinds. Little bit bitty ones. So, yeah, you can go camping on your motorcycles and live pretty good. <laughs> They're trying to one hand a salad. You ever try that? What's that in your tongue or your piece of ham? the woods and vlog now. <laughs> Silence. Oh, the flies. See more sitting on the water? Oh, yeah. Water bugs. Not even breaking surface tension. Is that my own one or Eggs in HD. Perhaps some summer sausage. Now you may ask, why didn't I cook this summer sausage with the eggs? Well, there's an answer for that. Someone in this camp, I won't name the person, is not a vegetarian. And by vegetarian, I don't use the strict sense of that word because I eat eggs and occasionally fish, but I don't eat meat. But some people still enjoy it. And so I accommodate. Accommodate. That's a good word to start the day. tortillas and taste test time. That's good. Mm. Pull some cheese. Look at this. Wrap that up and eat it. You still filming the wrapping part? Yep. Pretty good. Good to get a little morning fire in after breakfast and kind of plan out our day. Thought about what we were going to do, where we were going to ride, maybe take some hikes and stuff, and uh, just go have some fun. <laughs> just the ride in and out of the campsite is a cool little ride. It's it's it big enough for a car but it's really really fun on a bike and of course there's a lot of people walking the path so you, you can't really speed through and you shouldn't there's campsites on the left and right that are right next to this little pathway but it's really really a beautiful spot uh, to ride through and it's a really neat park to go to it lots of trails and things to explore um, there's some hilly bits there but really 
overall, all in all, just a really nice park. Next stop on our journey was the little community of Harmony, Minnesota, which traces its roots all the way back to the 1850s when Norwegians settled this area. In 1974, Amish people moved here from Ohio to find cheaper land and settled this community as well. It's famous for its agriculture and of course, uh, the vibrancy of the community was made even stronger with the rail railway running through it. And the railway has since moved on, but you might see scenes like this in the town and you might see scenes like this as the agricultural industry uh, continues to boom in places like Harmony and other southern Minnesota uh, towns along the Iowa border. If you ever get a chance when you're down there, explore Harmony. It's a great place. Well, we're on our way to Forestville Mystery Cave State Park, and we decided to take the back roads. Now here's something you don't expect maybe to see every day in the middle of rural Minnesota or farm country, but this whole dirt track was built and this kid was just having a blast racing on this thing. So we decided to pull over and watch him for a bit and he was just noticed us watching him. And so he started doing some crazy jumps and tricks and at the end he kind of acknowledged us and did a little drive-by wave. And uh, that was really fun to see in the middle of nowhere. No way did we expect to see that. We got up early to hike around the state park a little bit, and we came upon one of the attractions at Forestville, which is the old town of Forestville. Like many towns, it sprung up when the railroad ran through, and then when the railroad shut down around this area, the town kind of became a ghost town. So we were happy to go exploring. That's where he said he was trout fishing. Can you fish oh, sorry. Try it. See them? Two of them? the size of them. Sure. What's left of the original town of Forestville is maintained by the Department of Natural Resources. People like coming here because it's like getting in a time machine and going back to see what life would have been like in the late 1800s, early 1900s. Was this an old hotel or something, or what was it? This was the store. Okay. And uh, that was the residence. Okay. And he would uh, basically rent rooms out for his help. Sure, sure. Kind of like a company store, you call it. Makes sense. You guys grow a garden back there, too? Sometimes? That's there. You normally keep chickens in there. Chickens? Okay. The, they'll be back here for the opening. We're opening up on the first. Wow, okay, so great. The farmer down the road. Cares for the chickens when we're not, so. Oh sure. We'd have a little garden in the backyard. And you're and you caretake this place? Yeah. 
Oh, you're the man. All right. I don't know if you can see the burnt grass. Yeah. That was a foundation. Oh, sure. The school was up there. Um, oh, the, wow. the hotel was over there. It was, I want to say the population got up to about 150 people. Oh, okay. So, so it a decent old town. Yeah. And then the railroad bypassed us. Right. And went to Spring Valley. So, and that's kind of the, then it became more of a farm than a, than a town. It's great. It's great. Yes. Oh, yeah. Exactly. That's cool. They would have one, I would think. Yeah, they're a big supplier. It's interesting what you find out about people if you're willing to start up a conversation. The DNR guide for that area, the gentleman we were speaking to a moment ago, he was also an adventure bike rider and just happened to know some good tips about the area and even a local place that did good motorcycle maintenance. So it was awesome bumping into him. <laughs> it looks like pure white. <laughs> it's a antique blonde. Antique blonde, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of the day we spent hiking around and relaxing and then as the sun began to set we wanted to ride up the hill and and catch the last uh, fading light of the day and it was beautiful She's got us lost again. No. <laughs> Where are we? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. Well, we at least have a road mark. This is too great. It's going. After a day of riding, we were kind of wiped out, so we decided to call it an early night, relax, and hit the hay. It's a bright morning, sun's up. Beautiful. Okay. <laughs> Orange, with apple, or no, cranberries, banana, brown sugar. <laughs> and it's lovely. Pretty good? Yep. I couldn't find it. Till no one was in here but yes this is a state park bathroom in case you've never seen one they're pretty clean and pretty nice and now it was time to head north to stay at some of our favorite parks along the St. Croix River this includes William O'Brien Wild River Interstate and St. Croix State Parks Just inside the shed. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> Why well, you left it out? Well, I'm gonna, I've got to move the piece to get to it and one hand it. Put 
way you just put it on the back of your seat. The other strap. We had a great time in Wild River and now it was time to move on to St. Croix State Park. This was later in the summer and it was hot. It's going to be a scorcher today. It's like 89 degrees and it's not even 8 o'clock in the morning. Flies. Hello. Hello. Hi, guy. Nice. up to the fire tower in St. Croix. It's out there somewhere and you can see kind of in the background it goes way up there. We didn't hike that we just did the five miles of dirt and gravel. Was it fun? Sweet. Yep. It was fun. And we're going back now. Picked up a passenger right here. This little guy. Where are you going, buddy? Catching a ride? It was a hot day that day, and the Canadian wildfires turned the skies a blaze orange and added a smoke haze, even in the morning time. One of our favorite parks to visit is William O'Brien State Park because it's so close to where we live in the Twin Cities area. It is a beautiful park with lots of trails to explore and some really, really beautiful scenery, especially in the autumn when all the trees are changing and it's just a spectacular place to be. There's bacon in it. Just one bit. Can of beans on 
some jet boil. Did you taste one? Yeast. Do you need a lighter for that or no? No, oh, that's right. It's on. Seems hot. Perfect. After hiking around in the woods all day and traipsing through the forest, it's good to just sit down and relax a little bit around a fire. We left our bikes at home for this little quick trip. It was the last weekend that the campground was open, so we took the camper out and it was just a great way to wrap up an awesome summer of riding. And it's always a little bit, I guess, melancholy to think about the fact that you won't be on two wheels again until the springtime. but. I appreciate all the memories this summer gave us. It was time to wrap up a great season. <laughs>